I wanted to do a quick video on how to connect our rabbit elephant modules to existing Eurorack distribution systems. So the first thing is um, we've decided not to go with uh, uh, IDC ribbon cable style connectors because they're not really power cables or connectors. They're not rated for long enough life for how long we want our modules to be around. And so we had to change that. Furthermore, they're not keyed or shrouded in many cases and that's just a disaster. Many of you will probably blow up a module or two just in the course of, you know, having to plug stuff in. So we're, we're trying to change all that. And the start is with this connector. This is a much higher quality. It'll last at least three times longer than a ribbon cable. We use this uh, Samtech connector here. It's uh, fully keyed and shrouded. Uh, the contacts are multi-point, so there's lower contact resistance. They're also properly gold-plated. Um, and uh, this is a much better connector. On our module end, you just plug it in. There's only one way you can go in, and it's also... Uh, latching so it's keyed and latching you cannot pull this out unless you release the latch There's no way to plug this in wrong furthermore the header is fully shrouded and uh, each individual pin is shrouded so if you have drop a screwdriver or something like that and you're not going to short the uh, pins out in existing your rack distribution systems uh, that's not necessarily the case so if we drop a screwdriver in, you'll short out the power supply just like that okay it's bad okay this is hot and uh, Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, we're going to be releasing a uh, rabbit elephant bus bar um, distribution system, which will use our connector on both ends. In the meantime, uh, for folks that don't want to redo the whole power system, we have an adapter cable that comes with our modules. And so this end obviously is the rabbit elephant end, and this end is just a generic end that will fit any possible Eurorack distribution system that uses headers on 0.1 inch or 2.54 millimeter centers, which these all are. So um, the way you plug this in is kind of important. The first thing to note is our cable. Uh, all the, these are our discrete wires, right? So you get low, much lower uh, resistance in the wire, uh, nice contacts, all that stuff. But the first thing to note is um, we follow a much more accepted standard where blue is the negative voltage. So this, these two blue wires here, this row and this connector are negative 12 volts, okay? So the ribbon cables you'll see like a red stripe um, that was never intended to be represent negative voltage, but it just so happens to denote pin 1, uh, and uh, that's how it is. So on our stuff, blue is negative voltage. It goes to the stripe end like this. Not like this. Like this, okay? So when you plug this in, you have to be careful to line that row up with the lowermost pin towards the red stripe end, okay? And so when you plug in it, that's the correct way to do it. Hey, you can plug it in offset like this and that would be wrong. Why? Because this blue row here is not making contact with negative 12 volts. Furthermore, you're shorting uh, your 12 volt power supply to ground and that's no good either. So just make sure you line that up properly. So don't do that. Don't do this. This is the correct way to plug it in. Uh, if you want to double check, there should be four exposed pins or two rows here uh, if the bus distribution is supplying CV and gate, which we do not use. Uh, another way to look at it is this yellow wire here is our plus 5 volt input. So the 5 volt will be under the CV gate line. But anyway, main point, our negative uh, uh, V rail or negative 12 volt rail is this blue wire uh, side of the connector. And that goes towards the stripe or your negative 12 volt side of your distribution. And that's it.